we as a rural hospital set up face another problem of managing these hospitals. There are a lot of myths about it. Like it's a homogeneous, healthy agriculture society, rural people don't care because they have don't, low expectations, need local health care. And it should be cheaper because they grow their own vegetables. But actually, we have big social economic division within the population. High expectation due to labor-oriented job of both people. Electricity, construction material, consumables, same as the urban people, thanks to GST. Whenever a new person wants to start his hospital in rural setup, either he has to buy a land or rent a place. Before buying, he has to consider making the land in a cost of development. If you want to rent it, rent, consider for the annual increase of the rent. And as Sir said, you settle early, your boss and your owner will always try to extract more rent from you. So you have to sign long MOU for long lease. Facilities like lift, easy access, easy approachable as far as orthopedic hospital is very difficult. Getting a water even supply, good water supply and continuous water supply is also a big challenge. Before you start, you always should have a plan. But getting those plans ready is also very difficult. If you see this down, the consulting room and the casualty, and there's a waiting area in between, or even a lift. Turning radius has not been thought. Why this happens? Because the architects have no experience of hospital construction, as far as in rural area. There is a lack of skilled workers, long construction times, and poor coordination of all these three people, carpenter, plumbers, electrician, and when you get into the hospital, you end up with a big ramps or big steps in orthopedic hospitals. And you have to cope up with that. You have to manage your own problems. So as far as possible, you have to keep your administrative area close in close circuit to the all IPD or different treatment areas. You have to avoid narrow doors, passages, because it's difficult to change when you set your practice and it's running. Don't build big halls and stuck it with the beds. You need so small rooms, soft places where you can modify according to your needs. You have to plan your OT. Avoid your pillars and beams. Invariably, you will end up with the OT with the pillar because the construction made by an uh, architect is for residential purposes. Think about multiple central OT points, sufficient electric points, especially three phase. And these points are not told by the architect beforehand. To buy good quality machines, but don't pay them full at the first go. Because getting these people for maintenance in your real area is very difficult. It will take at least a breakdown time of one month to get your maintenance engineer come and repair it. I please call the chairmen of this session. I am sorry, I forgot that. Dr. Uh, Arora sir and Dr. Nitin Deshpande. Are they here? Okay, Arora sir, please. Yeah, you can continue, Ashish. You have to maintain them regularly, regular maintenance and AMC charges. But before signing AMC, compare the AMC charges and visit charges. Most of the time it happens that visit charges are less than your AMC annual charges. So if you buy good quality, newer machines, your AMC charges will be less. Whenever possible, you have to think of a stretcher lift. Turning radius of the stretcher has to be thought of and has to be told to the architect. You have to keep lift room one floor above for your future FS, uh, renovation. If your FSI increases and you have lift room on your terrace, you can't use that because you can't stop your lift working. The AMC is mandatory for lifts for uh, PWD departments and these facts are very less known. Power cuts are very usual, very routine, so gen sets are must, but insist on loads study by electrician. Almost 15 to 25 kVA is sufficient for small hospitals in rural areas. Don't fall for the marketing of vendors. Because they always say your load is too much, you are using so many high-end, high-technology machines, your load can be 80 or 100 kVA. It is not re usually required. So get your load study from your electrician. Even the water sources, local water system or groundwater bore water, and use automatic pumps for both water and gensets. Getting one man for just uh, starting the manually is very difficult. Plan your cables meticulously. Keep in mind space of waste disposal. Otherwise, it's very difficult later on. 
biomedical registration nowadays has become online authorization and consent fee depends on your balance sheet of your project so plan your balance sheet perfectly with considering with the ca otherwise those fees are much more 25 uh, 15000 i think so keep in mind five design goals it should be patient oriented efficient for optimal functional relationship between different rooms it should be flexible for expansion and new technology like we used to have dark room before as you upgrade you need to use that room for your uh, digital x-ray machine for storing and uh, ac rooms it should be sustainable to reduce the energy use low carbon footprints plan your pillars according to make your most uh, space make a space for it gadgets use the space below the staircase use the materials which can be easily maintainable durable for long time use more of a daylight use big window panes use solar energy for that matter reverse metering or led lights these are very small thoughts because form follows the function evidence nowadays suggests you should have more space and nursing station should be decentralized earlier we used to have those long nightingale wards with uh, nursing stations which are at one corner but these should be decentralized to reduce the travel and flexible space for charting and icu ot should be on the same level with horizontal connection we finding is more than science keep in mind the first time anxious visitor and staff signs take the help of the staff to put the used signs at the correct place mark the decision points nowadays we have composite materials or mystil materials which are very e easy to get cheap and durable these boards are for last than 10 years in the same place without any scratch another uh, word about the digital health club platform for rural setup we as a rural setup face difficult problems because of generic prescriptions fixed packages we are dropping margins nabh is looming and record keeping is a big headache so digital platform can help us how before selecting any digital platform it should be safe low cost with which can improve our outcome enable research and improve the patient experience it should have on the same platform but considerations like access points are changing 3 to 5 years with high density and grades should be because these data is collected and shared so that it should be 100% secure so for 10 ideas rethink about your patient flow integrate it technology way finding flexible interior design should have some yes last and er management because it's your front door marketing and you take care of that bold master planning thank you